So continue. I mean, that, that's straightforward. Okay, see if uh, number two. It is forbidden to follow the tradition of idolaters. Uh, and why may not uh, be in, um, in one may not intimate imitate them neither in modes of dress nor in styles of hair uh, and the like at the verse of Aikra 2023 states do not follow in the tradition or uh, tradition of the nation that I expelled before you okay so let's read commentary and we explain what does it mean this is the refer um, this refers to the nations of the land of Knaan who engage in immoral behavior. So today, uh, if you if you heard uh, Rabbi Rubin a uh, few years ago when they just came out with this uh, skinny jeans, you, you know you know these tight pants. Yeah, I, I know them. <laughs> okay, so basically, so uh, and uh, somehow it's penetrated into Jewish people uh, uh, culture. No, no, not like yeah, more, more modern or stuff like I that. I even seen, I even seen like the events. So not that like, I mean, some of them are really tight. I'm just like, what? How are they wearing that? You know? But uh, oh yeah, like I mean, I I I've seen people wearing them, and I've seen like people in. Uh, yeah, Jewish people yeah, so it's a, it's very unfortunate. So and Rabbi Ruben was fighting always about against it. Rabbi Mizrahi also. So basically, that's the follow one well, one of the things, one of the problems is that following the ways of going. That's what we not allow. So okay, so all of the uh, the, the the way even men, Jewish men, we're talking women, different story. But even men, Jewish men, has to uh, dress very modestly. Yeah. Like, modestly respectable, not fancy schmancy, respectable and uh, modestly. Okay. Um, elsewhere, the verse also states in Vayikra 18.3, do not follow in their traditions. And in another uh, context of the verse states, Dvarim uh, 12.30, Beware uh, for yourself, lest you be um, attracted to follow after them. So don't don't do whatever they do. I right? don't go to the places where they go, to all the circuses, all the theaters, all the stadiums. Let them go. Right? And don't follow their tradition. So it's one one of the proofs. Don't celebrate the Thanksgiving, for example. Right? They 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 do Thanksgiving. Let them do Thanksgiving. All right. The prohibition applies only to the practices that are marked by lack of the modesty in, um, that the mark uh, only applies to the uh, uh, practices that are marked marked by lack of modesty or may have their origin in idolaters rituals okay so but for, for, for sure these uh, skinny jeans it's uh, for sure it's a very modest right. In uh, commentary, it, it is it is not forbidden to follow customs that have clearly developed in speci uh, for a specific benefit. For example, it is permitted for a physician to wear a doctor's coat, right? There is no problem, so that uh, as to be recognized as a professional. See So that's that's not the problem. Or uh, we, we have to uh, wear some pants. So if pants uh, you buy in, pay whatever you you buy them from Macy's from other stores, so the there is no problem as long as they're modest. So it's not. It's uh, just wearing the the, the pants or uh, or a short. It does not mean that you're going in their ways, right? So it's yeah. it's don't. So basically, <clears throat> they're saying just uh, use your head. A person should uh, not wear the article of clothing that is designated by the other nation to convey haughtiness. Ooh, such as the garment worn by dignitaries. So today maybe it's not that uh, uh, that uh, obvious, but in all olden days it was like dignitaries, all of these uh, uh, I don't know colors and uh, like uh, you cannot miss that that this guy is uh, has this high position. Today is not so obvious. An example of this is the case um, mentioned in Gemara that it is forbidden for a Jew to imitate them. Um, even with regard to the type of shoelaces 
that one verse it's uh, it's very strong like uh, right okay so let, let's uh, uh, give example this means that if the manner of the nations was to tie it uh, one way and the manner of the Jew was to tie another way or if it was uh, their custom to wear red laces and the Jewish custom were uh, were, uh, were were black ones right since the wearing black is a mark of humility self um, effacement and modesty it is then it is forbidden for a Jew to change his custom to the other to to that of the other nations so all of this you know and another thing today I mean it's not today I don't know how when it's not you know this uh, this happy sucks yeah. so the guy could be like in all black and white and there's this crazy crazy sucks it's unbelievable so that's also it's very modest, very very inappropriate. That's what the right. goyim go do. So you wanna you wanna brown socks, you wanna bring green, green socks, that sock, but uh, just uh, just solid color, like maybe maybe some right. some some whatever some uh, decorations, but uh, I don't know, but not uh, not too crazy, not not happy socks. So it's uh, going in the ways of going. From this uh, from this example. So I, I actually on that video when uh, Rabbi Rubin said this, so there were look so people were against so many people were against him. The people ne never never get to page twenty one in Kitzur uh, Shochanorach. You understand? It's not him. He just say what Halacha is, right? right? And it's not. It's uh, yeah. Uh, from from this example, each person can learn to apply according to his own um, to apply according to his own place and time. That any garment uh, designed to convey haughtiness or Im immodesty should be not fashioned or worn by a Jew. So whatever whatever it means, like uh, sometimes like people, uh, younger guys, they would uh, keep I don't know like three three buttons open in a shirt. There's <laughs> not three buttons open, so everybody know that, that this guy is working out. So in in in. In case you you're going to miss, so it's also immodest, right? Um, rather, his garment should be fashion such as they um, bespeak submissive submission to Hashem, self effacement and modesty. Okay, so that's that the basic case. So you don't you don't have to look like homeless. I, other, otherwise, opposite is true. You have to look respectable. So as a Jew, you're your son of Hashem, your prince. You're son of Hashem, so you you cannot look just uh, disrespectful. Right. So people are just modest. The halacha is expressed uh, thus in Sifri, Parasha Reya, twenty nine, Reya. I'm sorry, not Reya, Reya. Um, you should not say, since the others go out dressed in purple, I too will go out dressed in purple. Since they go out. Um, uh, adorn with armor I too will go out um, adorn with armor okay for this uh, uh, arrogant and ho uh, haughty practices so I like like all of the warriors I like all of these things whatever they do and, and they have no place within the nations of Yaakov there is a Jewish nation so I, I would say may maybe today it's just my guess I, it's not it's from nowhere j just my guess so m maybe like uh, to, to work in this army un uniform right and all of these uh, things that are like army army like mm -hmm. like they have a jacket they have pants so they have like uh, maybe that's uh, that's all, all also like a little hot uh, huh? I think maybe like anything that like attracts attention no, yeah no no that's that's for sure that that that's for sure is the modest so if it's uh, attracts attention that's for sure is the modest Right, but, but we're talking about uh, okay, yeah. Um, rather than uh, so, yes, of course, if he wants to attack, uh, attract it, so for sure it's a, this haughty practice for sure. Yeah. Yes. Rather, the, um, their manner and custom should reflect modesty and humility, and they should not turn um, turn to the arrogant nations in imitation of their ways. Right, likewise, anything that a non-Jew practice. Is a custom and uh, and uh, an explain an unexplained tradition, such uh, that uh, there is um, to be concerned 
that it is um, contain traces of idolatry. We're going to explain right now. The Jew must refrain from doing this that thing. Let's read commentary and we explain. It's a very important point. There is uh, there is no apparent reason for tradition, and um, the, that there is a reason enough to suspect that uh, has idolatrous roots, but that they were forgotten. So it's uh, actually they, they explain everything what I want to say, but ju just to elaborate. So basically, if if they say that we are doing this and this because of that, this and that, it happened in uh, 1825, and this and this happened. Okay. So basically, if you know that's uh, that's the explanation. So in some in uh, some cases, it's not idolatrous tradition, so you can do it, right? So it's it's not idolatry. But if they do not know why they are doing that, that's the problem. So if they have any logical explanation, doesn't matter how crazy it is, right? And everybody agree on that explanation, or majority of the people are agree. So there is no problem. I mean, I meaning that it's not idolaters. It's like uh, developed like Fourth of July, for example, right? So so you know you know exactly. So there is no problem to celebrate. But uh, uh, Rabbi Mizrahi always say have a big lecture on Fourth of July. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was at his lecture on New Year's Eve. Ah, oh, this yeah. this this year. Ah, very nice. Yeah, yeah, very nice. So okay, so, so all right. So and he always gives a uh, good blessings to all of the people who instead of. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 it was good. I, I slept very well that night. That's for sure. <laughs> what a for sure, what a for sure. That's a perfect choice. Okay. So all right. So and says so a Jew must refrain from doing all of, uh, doing this thing. Okay, but on. On another hand, like I, I just want to add from myself, so Jewish life is so is so rich, so busy. So when exactly you have time to 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 imitate this going? If you have yeah. time, it means that that you don't do something that you must do. Right, you're not toiling. You're not. You're yes, just yes. There, there's so many things. So many things. Okay. Likewise, he should not cut his hair, nor uh, should he grow his hair. Uh, 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 hair of his head like them, meaning like uh, the going whatever whatever it means like whatever the the haircut they they like. Rather, he should be um who should be distinct with them. Um, in his mode of dress and speech, so and speech also. So if they just because they curse every other word, so it does not mean that uh, or they use like the, some other full language it doesn't mean that we can do the same. Right, so it's it's also way of modesty, mod modesty in speech, okay, uh, in his mode of dress, speech, okay, we said, um, and in the rest of of his actions, just shows a bit very different, and that's very different. I mean, if it's uh, uh, if it's uh, modest game, I mean, uh, it's uh, you you don't have to be too different, but with others, just stay as much, as far away as possible. Just uh, as he is distinct from them in his belief uh, and in his uh, character traits, this uh, injunction is uh, in, imparted in a verse, as it states in Vayikra 2026, 20, I have separated you from the nations to be mine. So it's a very important point. So Hashem said many times, so one, uh, one of the things, uh, it's from a previous parasha, when uh, Yaakov said, I, I want to I wanna settle in this Goshen, separate area right and, and that, that's what yosef also knew stay separate jewish separate don't mix with them right. Right? and hashem said i don't, don't be like them you you're my you're my uh, children don't be like them okay so